schools. Mayor Eric Adams touring the school late last night. According to his team, New York City is sheltering almost 70,000 migrants. I saw children. That's what I saw. I saw children. And this city is never going to do anything that is going to put children in harm's way. This story that happened a few days ago deserves to be talked about again because what happened in New York City can happen in any city or town in the United States. And it's all because of failed democratic policy. Tonight, new outrage from parents over New York City's handling of asylum seekers. Very angry. The city put our children the last. They're prioritizing the migrants. After busloads of migrants from Floyd Bennett Field spent part of the night sheltering at a Brooklyn high school. Students there learning remotely today as the school cleans up the gym where migrants slept. I found out about the situation actually around 1 o'clock afternoon yesterday when my daughter texted me, oh, by the way, we don't have school tomorrow uh, because migrants are coming. City officials making the call to evacuate the asylum seekers. As a major storm with winds of up to 70 miles per hour threatened the temporary migrant shelter. Yesterday, families walked to buses staged on the tarmac, wondering why they were being relocated yet again. One migrant father of four asking, why would they move us and then put us back here just to have the same problem again? We're not going to take risks with families, with children, or with anybody in our care. Taxpayers in New York City were outraged the other day when we had that severe rainstorm, when city officials decided to close a school and have students distance learn so they could house illegal migrants in the gymnasium. This is the United States of America where your child cannot go to a public school because they have to save migrants. The kids' parents are taxpaying residents of these cities and towns in New York, and their students were forced to stay home so the migrants wouldn't be harmed sleeping in tents. Now, the tents were supplied by New York City, Eric Adams, Kathy Hochul, the governor. These people are a disgrace. And what they're telling the residents of New York City is, oh, too bad, the migrants come before you. But my question is this, did the city of New York officials worry about the homeless Americans that are on the streets? Did they worry about the homeless veterans that were on the streets during these severe storms? I'm going to say no. They could care less. But the city's upset that parents were outraged. Parents were not supposed to go to the school and complain because how dare you not want to protect illegal migrants who have not been vetted since they've been in this country and we're allowing them to stay in a public high school. Public meaning the taxpayers are funding it. This is Joe Biden's America. This is the Democrat America. Some of the parents made some video and I'm going to show you, and then we're going to talk about it a little more. How does it feel that you kicked all the kids out of school tomorrow? How does it feel? You feel good? I hope you feel good. I hope you all sleep really well tonight. Why are you yelling at them? Because I have a right to. That's why. That's why. Because I'm an agitated mother. That's why. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? I gotta see where my tax dollars are going. 
And I don't blame that lady one bit for being upset. I will say this, though. You get what you vote for. If they actually believed that Eric Adams was going to become the mayor of New York and turn it around from disgrace because with Bill de Blasio, when he was in office, he did nothing but destroy New York. So it seems that Eric Adams is going one step further. He's making it a migrant haven, but now he's crying. He's begging Joe Biden for money. And the Biden administration is saying, oh, well, you're a sanctuary city. Deal with it. They're Democrats. They don't care about the citizens they represent. They don't care about the taxpayers. They care about, look at me, I'm the mayor of the big city, or I'm the president of the United States, when everyone knows that I'm an absolute disgrace. How do you feel when migrants who have come over the border, some of them being criminals, we all know that's true, I'm not just throwing that out there, but these people have been taken care of like they belong in our country. And let me stop right here and say this. I have no problem with foreigners coming to the United States. None whatsoever. Have a ball. Do it the right way. But under Joe Biden's open border policy, millions upon millions of people have come into this country and have spread out across the entire United States, no one knowing who they are, what their background is, or what they're even going to do while they're here. But American citizens, young kids, are being displaced because the school has to be used as a migrant shelter. But they don't want the parents to be upset. They don't want the parents to complain. Their kids were kicked out of school, bottom line. Just like during the pandemic, everything shut down. Distance learning. Distance learning did nothing but hurt our children. It made more kids depressed. More kids have anxiety now. More kids don't want to go out into a social setting because they were told they had to stay inside for two years. And we all know now that that was all a farce. The six-foot distancing, that was all a farce. The wonderful Dr. Fauci admitted that just the other day. And if you don't believe me, it's on the internet. Look it up. He doesn't even know where that came from. Oh, really? But take our kids now who are in school to learn, let them learn from home when we all know that didn't work. But this is just another example of Democrat politicians not caring about the people they were elected to serve. And I have to say that that one man, Zachary S. Cole, the New York City Emergency Coordinator said, these people are in our care. We're going to make sure they're safe. What about parents who had jobs that couldn't have a day off? What if these children were young and they needed to be supervised? The city expects the parents to take a day off without pay and possibly risk their employment because they think the migrants are more important than the American student. But again, they don't care. As long as the migrants are happy and safe, everything is fine. So when they decided to move them out of the gymnasium, the school remained closed so they could clean it. Okay, cleaning is good, right? But oh no, the migrants weren't happy because they were being moved from one place to another and then another storm was coming, so they were being moved again. And one man wanted to know, why are they doing this to us? Why are they doing it to you? Why are they doing it to the American people? Why are they doing it to the taxpaying parents who expect their kids to be able to go to school so they can go to work 
to continue to pay their outrageous taxes. This is a big problem. This is not a third world country, although we might think that Joe Biden and the Democrats want it to be that way. Because we all know that they want open borders for votes. Because the people know Joe Biden let us into America. So now we can go to any polling place and vote for him because we don't need an ID. The Democrats think that's racist to have to show an ID. American students are being displaced by people, A, who don't speak English, B, we have no idea what their background is, and C, because they're more important than the American people. This has been proven over and over again during this farce of an administration. They care more about illegal immigration than anything else. And I yes, I said illegal because that's what it is. There's a legal process to come into this country. But because of Joe Biden's failure, failure policies, they can do whatever they want. And the New York officials and the Chicago officials, they're all upset at the governor of Texas because he's busting them to these sanctuary areas. Because quite frankly, Texas is bursting at the seams with hundreds of thousands of illegals every month coming over the border. So why shouldn't he ship them off to a sanctuary city? They belong in the country they came from. They belong deported. And I'll say it again, I'm all for legal immigration. There's nothing wrong with that. If the people want to come here to better themselves, all, all the power to them, do it in the right way. But don't sneak in and then go somewhere where no one knows who you are and expect the government and the American people to take care of you. And one more thing, we've seen this in Massachusetts and we're continuing to see it. The governor of Massachusetts actually started asking families who have a spare room in their home to maybe welcome a migrant family so they have a stable environment. You don't know who they are. They could be murderers, drug traffickers, or what have you. We don't know who these people are. But open your home to a family so they're safe. Give me a break. Anybody who votes Democrat should really rethink their entire life. Any liberal who thinks this is okay, that millions of people undocumented are in this country, need to rethink their life. This is the United States of America. The United States tax-paying people come first. I don't care if it's a blizzard. I don't care if it's a hurricane, a tornado, or whatever. You don't take kids out of school because you need some place to house your migrants that you invited to your city. This crap needs to stop.